Hi guys, this is Aya, and today I wanted to talk to you about period pain. And I know that this is a very common subject and a lot of people cover it, but I just wanted to cover some natural ways to beat your period pain. So period pain is caused by the uterus having contractions to expel its lining. Now when these contractions happen, the uterus may press up against some blood vessels, and when the blood vessels lose supply of oxygen, the muscle that they're associated with loses oxygen, so the temporary loss of oxygen creates this pain. Now I know there are a lot of different pain medications that you can take, drugs like ibuprofen, Tylenol, and um, things that are stronger uh, for people who have stronger cramps, but I do have some natural ways to relieve your cramps if not stop them. Um, the first thing that I have is a heating bag, much like this one. This one is my heating bag. And it is a little dirty because it's been in the microwave a couple times, and someone left something in the microwave, and it got a little dirty. So, in my heating bag, there is rice, and then you can see this little, let me snap it back, you can see this little pouch here. And in this pouch is a little heat pack, and this heat pack is scented with 7C. And it, is, it smells really good. It's lemon and lime. And um, so if you take your heat pack and put it where your pain is, like on your back or on um, your abdomen, then that relieves it really well. Heat is the fastest way to relieve cramps. So my second thing that I am going to tell you that is a natural remedy is an herb that you can take. But I'm taking it in tea form, and it works really well. And it is called black cohosh root and this is I study herbs and this is one of the things that in my lessons they suggest for period pain and I bought this a couple weeks ago and um, it came in the mail and I was really waiting for my period to happen to try it because you can't really tell if it beats period pain if you're not having period pain so today I tried this and um, this morning I woke up and I was really crampy and really um, just not feeling well and I had really bad cramps. Usually I don't have that much cramping. I don't have a lot of bad cramps, but this time I had really bad cramps. So it says to um, pour boiling water in your mug and then put this tea bag in and let it steep for 10 minutes. And when it steeps, it just lets the herbs and whatever is in there to disperse into the water. And then you take the bag out and then you season it with some honey, whatever you want. I usually add a teaspoon of honey and then you drink it. And I am warning you that this <laughs> black cohosh root is really strong. It's got a weird taste. Um, it's not so bad in, like when you first take a drink, but then it has this really bitter aftertaste. Um, but I sat there and I sat for like 20 minutes and I drank my tea and um, I read a book and I got up to start help or start to make breakfast. I helped my mom and I had no cramps at all. This stuff works really well and really fast and um, it is recommended by a lot of herbalists for period pain and it is for women's health as well. So the women's health being like um, to support your uterus and everything that n needs to be supported, your reproductive system. So this is a really good thing and um, I actually didn't get it and think, they don't tell you that it's for period pain, but um, my mother is an herbalist and she I asked her, is there anything else that I can use for period pain naturally and she said the black cohosh tea and I was like, I have some of that, because she only has tincture, I think. Um, but I use some of it, and it's awesome, and it works really well and really fast. So it's really amazing. Um, so the next thing that I have that is for a natural period pain relief is actually just exercising. Exercising can help you to um, get your blood flowing. So in turn, it helps to flow your blood during your menstrual cycle. So, um, exercising, being like running or jogging, nothing too strenuous at all. Um, you can't work too hard, but jogging or walking, um, you just have to get moving. 
and it kind of helps to um, relieve your period pain because your mind is not on your stomach anymore and it's not on the pain that you're feeling so your mind's automatically just going to you know ne take the next step take the next step so it's really good for that and um, another thing you have to um, think about is your diet if you have a lot of sugar, if you have a lot of soda, then that is not good for period pain. Right now we are on a Mediterranean diet. It's called the 40 day fast and you have no sugar whatsoever, no um, bleached anything like flour or whatever. We use sea salt and it's really good and it makes you feel really good about yourself and it makes you feel really good, this diet does. And um, actually, Last year when we did this Mediterranean 40-day fast, um, I my menstrual cycles were really regular. It was just like the last Sunday of every month. That's when I had my period. So it was really regular, and then we kind of got off the fast after that 40 days, and it just went crazy again. So um, we, uh, it's really good if you get your diet in check and you use all natural foods and you have really good foods around you. Don't eat too much starch. Don't eat too much um, protein. Protein is not a good thing for periods. Um, so the diet and exercise is a really big part of this. And then another thing that you can do is ginger root tea. And ginger root you can find in the store in like the um, fresh produce aisle. Um, you can go around there and like where the um, vegetables are, the tomatoes and all that, and you can find ginger root. And it's really good for it. It's um, Ginger root is more for milder period pain. It's for milder um, cramps. So you can go to your produce aisle and you can get it in this bag. And here's what it looks like. It looks really knobby and really weird. Um, but what you do is you just take this and you cut off like two slivers, just two slivers of this. And um, they can be probably like that right there would be large enough for it. And then another one like that. And then you just put it right in your mug and pour boiling water over it. Let it steep for at least five minutes. And it works really well to relieve milder cramps. So um, I used to use this all the time. And then the black cohosh I just found out today is amazing for it. So it's probably going to be what I use all the time, um, but it does have a weird taste to it. It's bitter, and and I'm just warning you that it's really bitter and really nasty, but it really works and fast. Um, another thing I can suggest is um, you can't sit around a lot. You can't just sit in your bed and hope that they go away or lay in your bed and hope that your cramps go away. You have to do something about it. You can take a warm bath, you can drink some warm tea, anything to get warmth into your body. You can't be cold. Cold makes your cramps much worse. Um, so, again, the heat pack, you can use black cohosh root tea, you can use ginger root tea, exercise, diet. So I hope you guys liked this video today, and subscribe and like and comment, tell us what you want to see next, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.